y'all mr cruz here the hardest worker in the room back with another band lab tutorial today i'm going to be showing you guys how to pick the right loops when you're building your project or when you're making a beat doing your session whatever it is so you're probably just like clicking and dragging stuff that you think sounds nice and sounds like really good and we'll put together but i'm going to show you a little trick and some hacks on how you can make sure that you're picking the right loops for your project all right all right so right here well i've got an open session um this is what it looks like as soon as you open up something blank and we're going to go ahead and pick browse loops so there's three different um kind of ways that you can find loops either browse pack or loops browse just kind of gives you like hey here's what's new um packs will give you all the packs um, that have the loops and the sounds inside of them but you can also kind of pick them out by genre or by kind of like mood or your vibe uh, and then you have loops. So loops literally brings all of the loops in together in one big package and arranges them alphabetically. Of course, you can kind of pick them by instrument and again by genre or mood or vibe that you're going for. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a pack. And since I do hip hop, let's go to hip hop trap. Um, I wanted to check this one out. Sounds of Atlanta. Now, what I usually tell my students is to start out with the drums or beat. So I'm going to, so in here, if I type anything in the search engine or in the search bar up here, um, it's going to look only through this pack. So that's kind of what I want to do. And I'm going to type in, you can either type in beat or sometimes you can type in drum. All right. So no drum. So we're going to go with beat. Um, so usually a beat will compose of a kick, a snare and a hi-hat. Uh, and since this is pretty cool that it has it split up into different ones here, but I would like to see, all right. So I'm going to go to a different pack. Um, probably one that has more actual loops in it. Let's go with trap volume two. All right. And again, I want to type in beat. All right. No beat. Let's type in drums. Bam. All right. So here we go. So I have one, two, three, four. Um, I want to pick one. I don't want to pick more than one because these are all essentially like the same pattern, not the same pattern, but they're the same sounds. I only want to have one. So let's go ahead and just stick with one. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? All right. So let's listen to this. Uh, let me move it to the BPM that it's originally at. Okay. I like that so far. All right. So now in this same pack, I'm going to search for, um, let's go for bass. I would type in either bass or 808. So I picked trap volume two drum one. So I'm going to go with trap volume two drum uh, bass one and this, these two should sound good together. All right. So we sounding good so far. So, I mean, I can pick any of these other ones here. Um, but if I stick to the original, um, like kind of the original numeric order. Like, you know, if I obviously like I pick drums one. So if I pick bass one, there's a really good chance that it's going to sound good together. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's try trap two just to see. All right. That actually kind of works. All right. Next thing is we're going to look for a melody. Um, so let's type in actually let's well we'll just go through the instruments bass percussion all right so we're gonna go with synth um so i use one two let's try synth one no nope, don't like it uh let's try synth two All right. I kind of like that. I'm feeling that. All right. So there we go. So one of the things that we kind of want to do to, in order to find things that are really good and that fit well together, you're kind of going to stick to the same, um, not the same bundle, but like the same name. So if you use drums, one, try bass, one, try key, uh, piano one, try bell one. 
Oh, if you do stuff like that, then you'll usually end up with a composition that sounds good. Also, it helps if you're picking it from the same pack. So because I went to trap volume pack, if I were to do this here and type in beat, right? Um, I only want to have one beat, right? So if I pick bedroom beats one, that means I'm going to get rid of this up here. But that doesn't really sound good together. But anyways, you kind of get the idea that you're picking um, you're picking one loop that has beat, one loop that has drums, one loop that has snare and stuff like that. And that's where you're adding on to it. Uh, you don't want to throw in three different loops that have beat because then it's just going to sound real jumbled and real messy and kind of all over the place. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully it's helpful. Let me know in the comments if you want to see any other band lab tutorial videos in the future. It's your boy, Mr. Cruz out.